everyone. I hope you are doing well. It's a lovely, beautiful, sunny day, as you can see. And we are going to talk today about nutrition for sleep. While I have my green uh, soup, which has a lot of vegetables and leaves, I'm going to take you through what is nutrition for sleep. Why does food affect our sleep? We have to first understand that. The first thing is that our brain is connected to our digestive system. So if you have discomfort in your gut, you are going to be facing discomfort in the rest of your body and you're going to have disturbed sleep. So there are three or four things that I'm going to give you which you can do every day uh, in order to get better sleep. Number one, eat gut calming foods uh, in the evening as dinner. What are gut calming foods? They are some light vegetables like your torai, to the other kind of gourds, such as rich gourd, bottle gourd, round gourd. So you can have a squishy portion of that and you can put tarka seasoning or whole spices in that uh, with a little bit of white rice. Yes, white rice is a prebiotic. But don't have too much of it because too much carbohydrate is again going to make you feel too full and make you uncomfortable when you sleep. Because of the prebiotic in white rice, it's going to start calming your gut. Along with that, you can have a small portion of protein like moong dal, yellow moong dal, not green moong dal, with a little tempering, just a little tempering of uh, some tarka. Um, or if you are a non-vegetarian, you can have a small piece of fish. Avoid eating too much non-veg at night. Uh, avoid uh, eating even the good ones like fish in too much quantities because again, they interfere with your digestive process. That's the first step. The second thing to do is to eat this food early. Why? Because we need three hours between the time we eat and the time we sleep in order to get better sleep quality. Our food takes three hours to get comfortable and start the digestion process. So it's very important that you finish eating by 7.30 if you are looking at getting into bed by 10, 10.30 and sleeping by 11. I would say finish by 7, get into bed at 10 because uh, that's the ideal way because by the time you end up Getting into the sleep zone is another half an hour. So by 10.30, 10, 4 to 11 on a weekday is a very, very healthy habit. The rhythm of sleeping on time and waking up on time is the rhythm which is natural to the human body. We start getting diseases when we start going against this rhythm. Third, get into bed with a cup of chamomile tea. Now, chamomile tea is soothing, calming, and it helps you start feeling comfortable and drowsy, which is amazing when you get into bed and you want to go to sleep, right? So uh, if you eat it at 7, at 10 p.m., get yourself some chamomile tea, put half a teaspoon of organic honey, because again, organic honey has probiotics, uh, which start calming your gut and making you feel like you are unwinding, which is what you're supposed to, and get into bed with no screen, you've had enough of screens through the day. No phone, leave your phone outside the room because in the middle of the night, you don't want to be looking at the blinks of the phone. A book, some soothing music, whatever works for you. Soothing music works for me. Uh, or a funny book works for me. Why funny book? Because you don't want to take uh, stress and anxiety. And if the last thing that you have uh, read or heard is either funny or soothing, then your sleep quality is going to be better. Fourth, for people with uh, insomnia and uh, sleep issues, there are two things that you can do. One, just before you sleep, take a tablet called Tagara. It's a natural Ayurveda herb which will aid your sleep and give you better sleep quality. Second, Every morning that you wake up, start doing 20 minutes of Anulom Vilom. The moment you wake up and go to the bathroom, sit down and do 20 minutes Anulom Vilom to soothing music. You know, it could be 
chanting it could be bird sounds it could be piano music it, it could be romantic songs what works for you is is very very individual uh, we also do have some soothing playlists uh, called the unhurry playlists on spotify and uh, you can uh, listen to those as well they are uh, specifically made for people who want to listen to calming soothing music to release anxiety during their pranayam and yoga so wake up in the morning freshen up and then sit down with your back supported like this you can sit in a uh, on a sofa you can sit on a chair like this you don't need to be sitting on the floor um and uh, then start doing alternate nose breathing which is anulom vilom how do you do that very simple watch the movement of my hands that is the movement of my breath now if you have seen i have done inhalation stop for a second and then a longer exhalation from the other nostril so your exhalation always has to be longer uh, than your inhalation for people with a heart issue hypertension do not hold for that one second for everybody else you can hold for that one second do this for 20 minutes at a stretch to soothing music what does anulom vilom do for you for sleep is because when you are waking up to a calm day and you are doing breath work that is releasing your latent anxiety and it is also repairing your digestive system then your entire day your response to stress is going to be calmer this by the evening is going to a better sleep simply because you were not as worked up all through the day so you will not carry your troubles to bed so make sure you make this into your habit you can do it anywhere uh, you can do it in a hotel room put on your headphones you can do it while you are traveling there is no excuse not to do it so you must do your 20 minutes and you know, you know every day now there are certain nutrients and oils that aid brain calmness you know the brain also new needs uh, nutrients uh, and certain good fats to stay calm and people who have a lot of anxiety end up having disturbed sleep because they are lacking in those nutrients and uh, oils so one of the first things that you have to do is you have to add unsaturated fat into your daily routine this could be uh, flaxseed oil extra virgin olive oil fish oil these are very very important and for women primrose oil evening primrose oil because a lot of the brain anxiety comes from the hormonal fluctuations so add 1000 mg of these into your daily routine you can pop them as a pill if you don't want to put them in your salad so after lunch you can take them and the other benefit of these oils apart from aiding better sleep because they are calming your brain is that they reduce the risk of heart issues and hypertension how good fat unsaturated fat the specific ones that i spoke about right now uh, extra virgin olive oil fish oil flaxseed oil evening primrose oil these uh, stop the arteries from hardening you know as we age the arteries start hardening and that is how plaques are formed now these plaque deposits when they are in the heart they can put your risk of heart disease high when they are in the uh, calves of your legs there are cholesterol deposits that we get over there then they uh, cause muscle spasms in the calf well, calves a lot of people get up in the middle of the night with muscle spasms so that is uh, one of the reasons that they probably have a blockage over there and uh, uh these are also uh, good fats that help absorption of vitamin d which is very very important for brain calmness and immunity and heart health we all know that uh so start taking these uh, every day uh, for women who are experiencing uh, disturbed sleep because of hormones uh, you will start realizing that you are sleeping better with these supplements 
uh, and with the evening schedule that I spoke about earlier. Uh, when your hormones are calmer, uh, sleep is better. How do you know that you have hormonal issues? You sleep for three hours and then you wake up and you toss and turn in bed and are unable to go back to sleep. A lot of women are facing that. It doesn't matter what age you are. So this is a good way to reverse that. Um, lastly, magnesium. For uh, women and people with chronic anxiety, unexplained pains and any kind of uh, muscle issues, taking a tablet of magnesium at night, 500 mg magnesium at night every night is going to aid better sleep, is going to strengthen your bones and is going to reduce your overall body aches and pains. So when you have less aches and pains, you're not going to toss and turn so much. Your bra brain is going to be lulled into uh, a good night's sleep and you'll wake up fresh as a little baby. So do all these things. Uh, comment below for all the other issues that you're facing so that we can cover them in the next uh, few videos. Uh, like, share uh, our channel, Restore with Rachna. And uh, we will see you next week with some more uh, helpful videos for being healthy.